all pigs are equal, but some are more equal than others. Like favorites, Michael and Misty. They're among almost 300 pigs at this animal shelter north of Johannesburg. Leslie Giles founded the center in 2004 to rescue dogs. But she's been inundated with pigs sold to buyers who were promised they were from the miniature teacup breed. At the moment we have 271 pigs here in residence. Um, and we, we, cannot, we cannot take in the, the mountain. We need more pig rescues out there, we do. Marlene van den Berg is one of those who was duped into buying a so-called teacup pig, a breed that doesn't actually exist. She was shocked when her hog, Bacon, wouldn't stop growing. And they're cute and adorable when they're that young. And then, yeah, they grow up like everything else grows up. And then people abandon them. Leslie uses the salary from her day job as a casino manager to feed and shelter the pigs. But despite her best efforts, she feels like some animals will never recover. I've actually seen pigs turn their faces to the wall and refuse to eat and literally die because they miss their families and they're hurt. They call their, 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 their families are their hurt. They don't understand why they've been abandoned. They don't understand why. It doesn't matter that they've come in with a whole lot of other pigs. Their family was their herd and now the family's just left them. It's, the depression in pigs is a real, very real thing that sanctuaries have to deal with. At least these particular pigs won't end up on somebody's plate as pig in blanket. In fact, they're go. treated so well here, they sometimes end up as pig in sheets.